What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Let's look at another prospect today, middle linebacker Peyton Wilson. Guy can play almost everywhere on the field. Very athletic. The Bucks are needing a linebacker. Devin White leaves in free agency, but we're going to look at NC State product. Peyton Wilson, so plus, what's the first thing you like out of Peyton's game? Yeah, I think, you know, very similar to Cooper DeGene and how he's just super athletic and also very instinctual with his play. Uh, he's just always around the football, as you see here, Johnny on the spot, making an interception there. Uh, so just very natural uh, playing linebacker, but I think his versatility is is a big reason why a lot of fans are intrigued uh, with him and, and maybe a potential Buccaneers pick. And like you saw there, he looked over where the quarterback was looking, saw the target, went after it, and he ends up making an interception on the play. Here, getting after the quarterback, a former wrestler, I believe. Look at his arm placement, hand placement over here, getting over that outside arm of the tight end. It's a tight end. It's not a tackle. So you shouldn't expect him to do this against NFL linemen, right? But still, the hand usage is there. And then you see the speed to close, to get in on, on that sack on Drake May. Uh, what'd you like for this one? Yeah, I, I know some, you know, some evaluators have talked about him potentially playing at the edge position at the next level as far as, you know, a pass rush linebacker. But again, shorter arms, he only has 30 inch arms. Uh, but, you know, the the speed and the, the motor is definitely there. And you see nice fluidity just getting after Drake May. Um, and again, coming downhill, being able to just make plays and being in the, the right spot. Um, as you see here, get after the quarterback and, and make a play. Yeah, the pressure is there. Looking at it from a, a Buccaneer standpoint, yeah, we love the A-gap blitz. Look at him doing this right here, getting skinny in between the, the guard and the running back here. I like how he uses his hands here to leverage off the running back to stay up, keeping the balance up. And then his pursuit is unrelentless. It's disgusting, to be honest. Like, he has a really damn good pursuit, great motor. He shows off that. That speed he showed at the combine on almost every snap. So it's cool to see that play speed matches the time speed. But again, if he's matched up against a tight end, look at the hand usage again. Same thing, different side. Over that outside arm, pushing that thing down, and watch. The guy tries to rip at him, so he rips his arm up to disengage that arm even more, gets in after the sack. A lot of good things, a lot of – but what you say is he's not a younger guy, so he may fall because of that. He's going to be a 24-year-old going into the draft. So – uh, give me a little bit more about what do you see him as there as an outside possibility? Yeah, I, I think, again, I, I look at him more like a, you know, some, similar to Shaq Thompson and how they utilize him playing in like the big nickel, um, you know, or playing just linebacker in general. But he's got, like you said, a relentless motor. Um, I think at the next level, he's got to improve, improve his play strength overall. Um, here, he does a good job getting off that block, um, causing the fumble. Uh, so I just like his instincts and just his ability to be in the right spot. Very good in coverage as well that we'll see later. But here again, just being where the football is and, and that's usually a good sign of a solid football player. Yeah. Being around the ball. It's, I mean, the awareness, where is the ball going to be? Where is, what is my guy doing in front of me, but keeping my eyes on the ball at the same time. So a lot of guys don't have that knack. Usually they're just like so concentrated on what they're doing that they don't even know where the hell the ball's at. This guy just has the ability to do a little bit of both. And then not to mention, he's got the athleticism to get after it and make plays on the ball. So yeah, the, the short arms does scare me. Like if anyone's trying to think of him as a pure edge guy, I would not do that at all. Uh, yes, he probably needs to get a little bit more upper half strength as well. But the, the motor, drive, hustle, all that is there. Again, you see him on the outside of the screen here. Like just getting after it, understanding when the pursuit should go after it, right? Not just sitting back and waiting for something to happen. He's he's the initiator, and that's something I really like. Uh, and that's where you get uh, turnovers like that. But here you go, he's seeing we're gaining a little bit of upper body strength and balance will help out. But break down this one a little bit more. Yeah, again, you know, you can see this being utilized in a Todd Bowles scheme. You know, like you said, the A gap blitzes and just his ability to cause disruption or pressure up the middle, and that's you know, a good way to affect the quarterback, um, you know, and he knows that they're coming with a corner blitz here. So he does his job. Um, and I, I think that's important, but like you said, just ability to add, you know, upper body strength and get a little bit more stronger at the point of attack will be important. Uh, but he just makes so many plays like this. He's at the top of your screen here, 
uh, at the outside linebacker position, dropping back into coverage, understanding his responsibility, but then he sees the play going back another way and comes in and makes a nice hit on the tight end. I mean, so he does this a lot where he's in a lot of spots on the field and he covers a lot of ground just because of his effort and his instincts uh, overall. And this is something where I say, yeah, understanding what's going on in front of him, what he's, what his assignment is, but also not getting lost in the play. We saw with Devin White, he would get lost a lot in zone. He would do the spins in the middle of the damn field, and it was glaring. This is a guy that's understanding, okay, I know where my zone's at. I know who's in my zone, but I'm also looking at the quarterback being mindful of where he could go and ends up breaking out of that awareness of that zone and getting in the middle of the field because that's where the only target of that quarterback was. So very heady player on that one. And again, just showing the athleticism, getting after the quarterback, stopping, realizing, holy crap, there's a guy that can break out to be an option for the quarterback. Let me get in that throwing lane, knock that damn thing down. So a lot of good stuff in Peyton Wilson's tape. And then like getting into throwing windows, break this down too. Yeah, so this is where, you know, I think a lot of fans look at um, and get really excited about his game because of the zone coverage ability, the drop the drop uh, coverage that he displays uh, consistently on tape. Uh, so yeah, just understanding where guys are going to be uh, understanding route concepts. Uh, it really does a good job. Um, and then here, this play uh, just showing maximum effort. And we've seen a lot of this already, but his ability to just cover so much ground and, and kind of be a, a racer out there to eliminate bigger plays happening. Yeah. It, it's, but that's the thing. You've got to be an opportunist, but also understand where's the ball going to be. It's not like it's by chance he's consistently getting to the ball, right? So look at all the trash he's going to have to work through on this play too. So look where he's at, middle linebacker right here. All these linemen start down blocking, and he has to get through all this. He's understanding, holy crap, the ball ain't there. i got to find the ball, right? So he looks over to his side. Oh, I have to get around all of this to get to the ball carrier. And he works all the way down the line nasty hit there hurts this guy over here uh, a lot of damage going on there with Peyton Wilson and then this is probably the biggest motor play of the of the year here so I'll let you break down this one because this one was special yeah again just you see his instincts and just um over on you know understanding of the play he kind of points out the zone he's like oh follow the drag route uh but the ball goes behind him and then again just showing the effort being able to chase this guy down preventing a touchdown uh, really good reverse play uh, of the play here. So again, you see him pointing out uh, that route. The guys go over, shift over that way, um, and then again, still in his in his spot, which is good. So they just make that play there. Good play by the quarterback and receiver. And then Peyton Wilson sees it. And he's like, "Oh crap! I got to get on my my horse here." And he does, uh, and makes a great tackle, preventing a touchdown. That is insane. Like closing speed and just beating everyone to the spot is insanity on to me. Uh, here we go again, more motor, more speed, sideline to sideline. This is something we did see a lot of Devin white. I mean, look where this, the quarterback is when he starts to run Look where Peyton Wilson is, look where he's at. Talk about tracking a guy down saying, you're not going to get to that first down marker because I know I'm faster than you and I can get all the way. That's across the whole entire damn field. Insane. Uh, keep mm -hmm. going on more of his uh, ability in the running game. What do you like with that? Yeah, here in the, in the run game, I think he just does a good job, again, diagnosing plays, understanding his assignment. So, again, he's maintaining his gap and then be able to fill in and, and make a play on the football. Um, again, Johnny on the spot, finding ways, really aggressive. When he knows where that football is, he really attacks it hard and, and gets after it. So you have to be um, really impressed with that. And, again, here, just finishing plays. Uh, I, I That's why I think a lot of fans – are excited about him at the next level because he's just so fun to watch out there. Yeah, and it's it's like traits, athletic traits, but along with headiness. I mean, he he shows it a lot. It's not like he's getting turned around or just not knowing where the heck he's going or shaking his head like, oh, where was I supposed to be? He's usually the initiator and like you say, around the ball all the damn time. And that's that's not just a pure guess, right? That's usually tape work. That's understanding where I have to be in a system. And then this is, again, where they have him, opposite side of the field of where the ball is going to go. Watch as he starts from covering a receiver, tight end, over here on this side of the field. and gets all the way over to the other side to make the play. Break this down a little bit. Yeah, again, just covering so much ground. And, it, and you know, once he identifies where that football is going, he is 100 miles 
that way. Sometimes it, it can get him in trouble uh, where he, you know, misdirection and stuff, maybe over pursuits a little bit over commits, but you just love to see it. And, and guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, Pate Wilson, I think is a, I think we both agree that he could be a very good linebacker at the next level, a lot to like. Um, so let us know what you guys think. Do you think he's a possibility on day two for the Buccaneers? Where do you see him going? Or if you're a fan of another team, let us know what you think of his skill set and what do you like about him? With that said, until the next one.